Hi all, Karen here again. Today we're going to be making the 5x7 Band-Aid card that's part of the SVG collection I have in my SD shop. And this is the one that's the rainbow Band-Aids. And then on the inside it says, until you rock, until you, till then just rock the PJs. I did put an extra Band-Aid in this one, in my sample, but I don't think I'm going to put it in this one. So we're, I'm going to cut it out in a different color. So you can see that you can cut out in whatever color you want. And uh, let's get started. So we have all our pieces here. So this is the inside piece. Let me go ahead and glue this together. And let this dry. And there is a top and a bottom to this. So before you put the glue on there, make sure you have it on the right direction. All right, so let that dry. We then have the get well soon. And I did cut this out in two different colors because I wasn't sure if I wanted to use the match, the outside mat or the inside one. And I like the black better, so we're going to use the black. And you can cut these out in whatever color you want. All right, there's to get well soon. That dry a little bit. So now we have our mat and layers here. So I'm going to go ahead and glue these together. Now in my sample here, I did put a little bit of a stencil on here. Um, and that's just because I had the plain white paper and I decided I wanted a little bit of a stencil. So I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to grab polka dots this time. And I'm just going to lay this down. I'm going to take my black brush. I'm not even going to put any more ink on it. I think I've made about four or five cards now with backgrounds where I haven't even put more ink on here. And that should be enough. Yeah, that's plenty. Just give it a little something there. So now we're going to glue this to the black. And this is a one eighth of a difference in the two papers, so it's going to give you a tiny little border. All right, and this will go on here. As you can see, I used layered paper in here instead of solid paper, so it tore, but we'll just put that in the back. As you know, not all paper is created equal when it comes to cutting machines. Solid paper without any chunky bits in it is going to be a lot better. That's a little crooked there. There we go. Now it's straight. All right. So here's our card base. Let's go ahead and just stick this in the middle and be done. This will go on the inside. And the inside is complete. Oops, sorry, did that out of screen. All right, so inside done. Just let that dry. So now we need foam on the back of all these pieces here. I buy these huge iCraft foam pieces, foam rolls. This is 1 16th foam, not the uh, 1 8th that you would use for a shaker card. That's what I'm using. Um, now you could mix it up and put some of the things on thicker foam and some on thinner foams if you wanted to.
Now the Get Well is a little thinner, so I'm only going to put on a half a strip. Now we just have to decide what order we want to put these in. I'll bring in the original. For the original, I had this just in the third position. So then I had yellow, purple was on the bottom, blue was next, and green and red. They'll all be like this. I'm going to put this on first. This will be in the center. And I will put the red one on. All that's left to do is to glue this to the card front. There we go. And just give it a press down. there you have it. Get well soon. Until then, just rock those PJs. And so you can do it in any color you want, whatever color you wish, with or without the extra band-aid in the middle, and you would just print out another another one. And you just pick what color you want from the front, and there it is. So I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope you try one of the other ones from the set. And until next time, stay crafty!